Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. The United States is the country with the strongest scientific and technological strength in the world. It has long suppressed China with the aim of curbing China's scientific and technological development and preventing China from surpassing its achievements in scientific and technological development. However, with China's continuous efforts, the United States has become less and less effective in doing so. Especially after they blocked our technology, we repeatedly broke through the blockade and even developed some technologies that blocked them in turn. I have to say that China is really amazing. As China's strength continues to increase, some of the technologies developed by China have indeed surpassed Western countries, especially China's research and development results in the field of laser crystals, which are in a leading position in the world. In this regard, the United States can't catch up with China now. The United States has worked hard for 15 years and has not surpassed China. Laser crystal is a crystal material that can convert external energy into laser, which is of key significance in the application of lasers, especially for energy conversion in the optical field. In the application of laser crystal technology, the development of chips is related to it. Although China has been restricted by Western countries in lithography equipment in chip development, China has successfully counterblocked Western countries in KBBF laser crystals, including the United States of course. So what is the use of China's blockade of Western countries on laser crystals? How great is China's achievement? For KBBF laser crystals, its main function is to produce extreme ultraviolet lasers, which are specially used to repeatedly manufacture chips in lithography machines. The KBBF crystal independently developed by China is currently the only single crystal material that can produce extreme ultraviolet light above 176 nanometers. The application of this type of material can produce high-end extreme ultraviolet lithography equipment, which is a very important auxiliary material in lithography. So, some countries are very active in the research of this type of crystal. However, the manufacturing process and technical requirements are very high, and it is not so easy to do. But in 2002, China successfully developed this crystal, which put China in a leading position in this field. This means that during the use of the crystal, its evaporation and loss will be reduced, thereby extending its service life, which is a great progress for China's semiconductor industry. The application of this crystal in laser lithography equipment will also provide new technical support for the use of Chinese lithography machines and the development of chips. When China completed the development of this crystal, it did not restrict other countries at first, but chose to show this technology to other countries and provide help. However, in the 1970s, China discovered that other countries attempted to apply this technology to war and even planned to develop space laser weapons, which was harmful to the world. So China banned the export of this technology in 2009. After the export restriction, Western companies had no choice but to develop and produce this type of laser crystal on their own. By 2016, the United States claimed to have broken through China's technology monopoly. Although it took 15 years, 
the actual results may not be as good as they said. Hey, do you know? China's research and development of KBBF crystal technology is becoming more and more mature, and new laser crystals have been developed on this basis. In contrast, the United States lacks human resources in the research and development of laser crystals, resulting in stagnation. It has also invested a lot of financial and material resources in this regard, but the final results are only completed by China more than a decade ago, which means that the ultraviolet laser technology used by Western countries in the production of lithography machines is still behind China. China's LSBO laser crystal research and development results are now remarkable and great progress has been made in the fields of scientific research and ultra-precision processing. This is very beneficial to the future development of China's chip industry and is another major breakthrough in China's lithography industry. Although Chinese companies have been suppressed by Western countries, they have not been discouraged, but have become more motivated. At present, China has reached the international leading level in many technologies, such as chip processing accuracy. Even if Western countries impose a technological blockade on China, China has found a scientific and technological research and development path that is more suitable for China's development. In general, from chips to high-end medical equipment, from industrial robots to carbon fiber, to aircraft engines, every technological breakthrough is related to China's future competitiveness and security. Once these technological breakthroughs are achieved, China will no longer be subject to others and truly realize the dream of technological independence and a strong country. Although the future technological competition is full of challenges, China has achieved a transformation from following to running side by side in many fields and is getting closer and closer to leading. As the national leader said, core technology cannot be obtained, bought, or begged for. Only by relying on its own strength can China truly control its own destiny and win the future in the global scientific and technological competition.